guys, Classic Cinema TV fans, this is Jason Lockhart here with you once again, bringing you another Silver Screen Spotlight. Yeah, today we are talking about not one, not two, but three new releases. And yeah, really excited about this. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We would appreciate it. All right, uh, first off, Witch Trap. This is from MVD Rewind Collection. Uh... Really an interesting little film. All right, in the attic, there was a they found a sacrificial altar where the former owner um, is found dead. His heart has been removed. But that's not all. Uh, his restless spirit was rumored to be wandering the halls. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Looking forward to th this one is pretty uh, pretty interesting. I'll, I'll, uh, I've, I've never seen this one, so this is going to be interesting. Um, Witch Trap, uh, I love the, what MVD does here. MVD does the uh, retro kind of covers, which is really awesome. As you can see there, they're really, really cool. Uh, then you get the regular artwork on the inside, if you like that. Or if you prefer, you got different artwork on the inside there. So you can take your choice. Uh, and we may flip that to this one because this one is different artwork. So I may go ahead and just do that because it's uh, pretty cool. Um, love these, uh, the, the simplicity of the Blu-ray. Uh, I like the, the Blu-rays that are simplistic. I like that it kind of gives it the feel of a VHS tape, which I think is so cool. In addition, uh, MVD always uh, includes a mini poster with their Rewind collection. Love that. That is pretty cool. So, yeah. So, uh, Witch Trap. Witch Trap? This Trap. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, uh, the second release is from also from MVD Rewind Collection, and it is Killzone. Okay, love that. Look at that. Look at that slipcover there. It has the whole thing of a weathered VHS tape. Even uh, with the sticker, the, 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 the kind of gunk that you just kind of just wanted to scratch it off. <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. Uh, same artwork on the inside here. Uh, and then um, with this one, uh, you don't get different artwork that you can flip, but you do have uh, artwork on the inside. Pretty cool. Um, in addition, we get the, um, the Blu-ray with the simplistic Blu-ray cover. I love that. And then the uh, bonus poster. All right. It's Kill Zone is um, about a colonel who uh, has um, kind of sadistic uh, mindset, and he, he builds this advanced military training center called Scare Camp, and uh, it's one of the most grueling in the world. But to him, it's brilliant, but to the people going through it, it's deadly. I love that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's interesting. I, uh, I'll tell you. MVD really does uh, go into some of the really, really um, obscure films and cult films and all, and uh, gives them really awesome releases. So, yeah, that is pretty awesome. So that's just a little spotlight here, but that's not the main event. It's time for the main event. All right. So m me, I grew up on a classic TV uh, of um, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and even in the 80s. I, uh, I was a young kid, and I uh, grew up on those uh, old shows from the 80s. Uh, um, it was really, really cool. Um, and as a kid, one of my favorites was a show called ALF. Okay? I loved this show so much. Uh, I always thought it was so much fun. That's why when um, they started releasing the DVDs of the complete series, you know, I was first one in line. Uh, <laughs> yeah. First season, second season, third season, fourth season, complete series. Yes, you knew I had to do it. So um, that was really cool. But there was something that was missing uh, from this and that was that they never released the ALF movie. Now, the ALF movie was not 
what we had hoped for. Uh, the ALF movie was kind of different from the, uh, the TV series. Quite a bit different, actually, from the TV series. But it was still ALF. And I've always wanted that. But see, the, the way they were, it was always like, well... Uh, if they are on a, it's like a VHS tape, or if they are on DVD, it's not too spectacular, or it's too expensive, and I just didn't feel like fooling with it. So I was like, well, we'll just, we'll just wait. Maybe someday, uh, some company will release it and uh, give it a good treatment. The day has come. <laughs> oh, I love it. Liberation Hall has now released ALF the movie. Now, it's interesting. Liberation Hall is known for uh, probably here recently, the best thing that they've done is the RoboCop TV series on Blu-ray, which I love. Uh, definitely check out the full uh, written review at Classic Cinema Plus of that one. That is very, very, a very good uh, uh, release. But this is what's next. Project ALF on Blu-ray. I saw this and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. This is like the coolest thing in the world. So to me, this, this is just so awesome. Um, I've been waiting for this for years and years and years and years. And to finally see it and to finally actually hold this in my hands is like a dream come true. Uh, because I've always wanted this. I've always wanted this film. Uh, and and now here it is on Blu-ray and it's in my hands and and we just got it today and and to see this actually holding this in my hands and now be able to put it alongside the complete series is like it's a completion it's it is so cool um yeah so basically after the series ended our lovable uh extraterrestrial alf is found living uh, in captivity at Edmonds Air Force Base, um, where the alien task force has him under lock and key. Its uh, commanding officer, General Milfoil, uh, is sick and tired of babysitting and plans on eliminating ALF under the guise of a beauty treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, when two Air Force scientists catch wind of this, they help Alf escape, hiding him in a cheap motel um, not far from uh, Kitty Cat Lounge. Um, and, of course, Alf assumes uh, that uh, this is a restaurant serving cats. <laughs> and, um, well, it's not. Uh, meanwhile, Alf's advocates set up a press conference where they uh, plan on revealing Alf's existence. And uh, General Milfoil uh, concocts his own plan, setting up an auction selling ALF to the highest bidder. But where will ALF end up? Whew. This is cool. Um, okay, so there is uh, some bonus features there, as you can see uh, on this. We get um, an interview uh, commentary with the creator uh, and a photo gallery. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. It's been a long time since I saw this. A long, long time. So actually getting to see this on Blu-ray is going to be really, really cool. Seeing it in high definition is going to be awesome. So yeah, I can't wait to check this out. Uh, so yeah. What are your thoughts on ALF? Uh, I, I'm loving this. I think this is just so awesome. This is to me why this is the main event. Because as you can see, I have such love for this series. Uh, I really do. That this is just amazing to be able to have a completion. Uh, even if the film isn't the most spectacular, which it isn't. It's not. It's it's nothing like the TV series. It's not as it's not funny. It's not it's not overly funny. Let's put it that way. It's not overly funny, but it's it's still pretty good and I enjoy it. So yeah. What are your thoughts on ALF? Let us know in the comments. Are you excited about Project ALF on Blu-ray? Let us know. We'd uh, love to hear from you. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Go to Classic Cinema Plus. We would appreciate it. And uh, check out all the reviews. And until we see you next time with a, another Silver Screen Spotlight, this is Jason Locker reminding you that if you want to see a great film, check out a classic. We'll see you next time.